So my name is Stephanie Hellickson and I have lived on a vineyard and winery property with my parents and my brother since I was two years old, just right outside of the North Fork Valley in uh, near Peonia, Colorado. And since I was little, there have been slow, gradual changes in the climate around us. Um, and I probably haven't noticed them as, as strictly as some of my elders, but for me, it's been more of slight changes over time. Like we used to design our clothes for our Halloween costumes. We would design them around snow because it would always snow on Halloween. It doesn't do that anymore. And we would always start pruning on the 15th of April. It was kind of our tradition. Tax day, you start pruning the vines. And now we start on the 15th of March. And so it's just gradually the season's gotten bigger. There's been less rain during the summer. We've had different varietals in the valley now that will grow, some that won't. Some issues with water. We had a drought for several years. We're kind of out of it now, but every year we're concerned about where our water is going to come from. Is it going to snow enough? Is it going to rain during the summer? The weather patterns are much less predictable than they were even when I was little. We could always rely on, in August, there would always be rain in the afternoons and you could rely on it almost every year. This year that didn't really happen. It happened for maybe two days, whereas it usually happens for about two weeks. So there have been subtle changes over time and it impacts our ability to predict where, what we're going to grow and when we're going to grow it and what we're going to be able to do with the land that we have because that land is changing and it makes it very difficult for us to determine from year to year what we're going to need, um, how we're going to care for the land, how we're going to create our product and how our family is going to be able to make a living because the grape industry you have a very small crop every year you have one to two tons an acre from the vineyards in this area were very low yield but in order to make the same amount of wine we have to have those one to two tons every year and if we have a late frost or we don't have enough water or things don't ripen early enough because it's still warm and nice and beautiful we can get nipped by late frost early frost drought anything like that can really affect our ability to make a living and stay where we are and do what we love to do.